What's up YouTube? Today we got five things we're going to go over to how to stimulate your extremely intelligent dogs y'all got. So, five things coming at you real quick. Here they are. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Number one on the list, especially for herding breeds, is a herding ball. You guys can find these on Amazon or uh, any feed store normally has them. This one's a jolly ball. Um, they have hard ones or softer ones. Cowboy doesn't herd this one anymore because he popped it. And so it just kind of like crumbles and his jaw strength is so strong that he just grabs it now. Um, but when he was younger, he used to push it around and herd it. And it was always great mental stimulation and physical because watch this. Now he just thrashes it. But number one, especially for herding breeds, check out a herding ball. Number two, tricks. We have some more videos on how to do these tricks on our channel. Roll over. Give me 10. But uh, check them out and you know, there's all kinds of fun things you can teach your dog and show off to people when you teach them some fun tricks. So tricks are a great way to mentally stimulate your dog. I think tricks are fun and they're a great thing to incorporate into training. But overall, just to kind of pair off of that, there's no substitute for structured obedience as well. Um, that's gonna really make their brains think the hardest. Tricks are always fun to incorporate though, but that is in, it's a compliment to obedience training. Quick ad. Hip. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good. Come. Good dog. Hip. Good boy. Okay guys, agility is gonna be number three because agility is a great way to get your dog thinking, get them thinking where their feet are going, how they're moving their bodies, and it just gets those little gears turning up in their head. I know that wasn't a crazy example of agility. You see these border collies and stuff doing like crazy courses with AKC. So there's really, you can take it as far as you want, um, or you can just do basic stuff like jumping up onto fun little logs and uh, just making them think. Okay, we have a DIY dog puzzle. There is no need to go buy those fancy dog puzzles on Amazon. You can, nothing against them, but why when you have spare cardboard boxes and treats? Uh -uh. Leave it. What I'll do is I'll put food in the box sometimes. Uh -uh. Tape it up. And let them go to town. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, what's in the box? Good boy. Shredding it. Is, oh, more interest in shredding it today than the treats. You gotta put enough food in there for them to uh, want the food. Otherwise, if they're a shredder like Cowboy, this will happen. Oh, good boy. But hey, shredding things is great stimulation too, right? Happy dog, happy dog. All right guys, final thing on the list. I can't stress how important it is to get their nose working. When they're using their noses, it's just a clear sign that their minds are ticking and uh, they'll, they're putting in a lot of brain power. So what I like to do take some kibble snack after a hike or something normally after they've had dinner um, and if we go for a long walk this is how i'll give him a little bit more food i'll just come out take a handful of kibble toss it in the grass for both the dogs and uh they will use their noses until every little piece is collected so ready <sighs> get it rev And that's it guys. Um, simple things can really help change your dog's temperament and help tire them out mentally by just uh, doing little stuff like these things listed. So if you liked the video, make sure you hit like and subscribe for more. Comment what you guys would like to see in the future and we will catch you next time. Have a good one.